book are absolute fucking trash. I hate all of them. I Harry tickets, which means this is literally for my birthday. Thank you, Harry. I have not been able to see Harry Styles. My package, and I'm pretty sure it's my Harry Styles CD. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel and to my videos. And I'm so sorry. I did not plan to leave for three months. But, you know, life happens and I just didn't have time. I love making videos. I love editing. I love all of that stuff. I love social media. However, trying to do that on top of college is really not bad fun or fresh and going back to school full-time is really hard so i had to give up something and i had to give this up for a bit but i'm back and trust me i was having the worst reading time um and like adjusting to not being able to read as much really sucked but i'm officially on summer break and i am planning on reading a lot and Starting with, I got a Kindle, <laughs> this Kindle, which I love so much. I love this Kindle. I was peer pressured into buying this because of Sophia. Yeah, she makes me buy everything. <laughs> so now I have this. I have read so many books. If I think I'm like almost at like 20 something books I have read so far, which is like great based on like the fact that I was in school in those three months how but this kindle was one of the reasons why i read as much as i did i highly recommend getting a kindle it's worth the money and i love this one because you can read in the dark and i love it let me know if you want any like kindle recommendations because i have some books for that but today's vlog since it is a reading vlog i am reading Gekahi, which is this book that I found because of TikToks, a lot of South Asian representation, it has Indian folklore, and honestly, sign me up. When I saw the cover, I just fell in love, and like, look at her jewelry, I love it. Um, just being South Asian, I want to read as many diverse books, um, and that feature folklore and all of that. So, I'm so excited to read this. This book follows our main character, Gekahi, as in the title, who really grew up in this society that doesn't allow women to have any power, and she's always been looked down upon by everybody, and it follows her as she learns to take her own power through the stories that her mother used to tell her as a child. So, she takes over, um, but but the gods don't like that because the gods like she's upsetting all the balance of the world that the gods have um, and it follows her as she tries to keep her power while also going against the gods far what I've read I'm 146 pages into it so far from what I've read it is super easy to get into their magic is really not that complex um, which I like it's really focused more on the political aspects and her coming into power um, honestly as of late I just want to read more books with amazing women in them and she is a bad bitch for sure and I am so excited to keep reading it I'm really enjoying it so far I've already tabbed it a bit if you can see that and I'm just really excited overall to just be doing this reading vlog i miss taking you guys along with me while i read so i'm excited um i'm sorry for being gone but i'm back so hopefully there will be a lot more reading vlogs and bookish content again and i also have some like travel vlogs i have that i want to share so just a lot of things hi we just got harry tickets yes my vlog <laughs> Guys, we got hairstyle tickets. Why? Tickets. So we will be seeing Mr. Harry Styles in September. Oh, he's gonna be so close to us, guys. <laughs> I don't think like one of the days we don't get like really close. Like I'll, I'll be fine dancing. No, exactly. And I'm thinking we can camp out for one day, and then the other day we can go on the. I've heard the back of the pit is really fun. Mm-hmm. Harry tickets, which means. 
This is literally for my birthday. Thank you, Harry. I have not been able to see Harry Styles ever, ever. So this will be my first time ever seeing Harry ever, ever. And we get to see him in, his, in the pit, which is like, <sighs> this is like the best moment of my life. I don't even think when I get married, this will be the same. Yeah, so, yeah. Hi, everybody. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update. We got the tickets for Harry, which I'm so excited for two nights. So, yes, I love that he is going to be in New York for like 15 days. But I also wanted to give you guys an update to Giga Heat. So I got to page 202 last night. I'm really enjoying this book. I really, really love it. It's so easy to read. And honestly, getting back into fantasy and getting back into reading, I love this book. Um, this might be one of my favorites of the year as well. I just love the folklore and just the character herself. Like, Giga Heat is such a strong person, but you can also see her doubt. I just love when you, like, get to grow up with the character because I feel like you really get to know them as a person and that's how I feel about gay he and like as she develops and becomes an older woman like I just see myself in her so much more she said some things where she was like I'm like acting so brave and like I think that I'm like a grown woman now because she's forced to grow up but then like she was put into these situations where like her past is brought up or her family is brought up and like she realizes like how much of a child she actually is and it reminds me of like that Mitsuki song where she's like I'm a tall child and just like the pain that women go through like after being forced to grow up like uh, and like realizing that you're not actually grown up and there's like a wounded child in you that is still like crying out for help and that is still hurt by like your circumstances and um, my favorite quote is like the best it's on page 180 and it says I did not wish to bring my daughter into this world of men into a world that would silence her thoughts before she could even speak them I wondered how many women had felt the same fear deep in their bones if my mother had it turned my stomach, kept me awake at night, thinking of all that might go wrong. I had to change it. Love it. Love this quote. Love this book. Love Geki he is character. I love all the women in this book. Bad bitches. And I love how, like, she just hates men. It's so refreshing. It's so refreshing. Um, and the way that she, like, roasts them is so good. I'm so excited to see where this book goes. Um, I think we're finally, like, seeing the turn for her where she realizes that she can no longer even like pretend to care about what the gods want because she wants to change the world for women and she wants to change the world for herself and she wants to like bring a new hope and that is just not happening with the way that the world is set up for them and she's so tired of like the patriarchy and i just love it and again i just love how seamlessly the author incorporates south asian culture into this just by their clothes like the birthdays the vivid like description of sweets the way that um they're talking about like the women's council who does an amazing job of like so clearly and like efficiently explaining her surround without like being overly like fantasy where you're like oh my god what the fuck does that mean like you have to reread it a billion times i think it's just so powerful when an author is able to use their words like less words but in like easy words but like able to convey what they want very simply it makes the book easier to read and it makes it a better experience in my opinion but if i have a little bit more time today um and during the day i will try to read more of Gekahi. i really think that i can finish this book soon Good morning. Um, I'm gonna sit back so you guys can see me. Caillou angle. I love the noise outside. I just got a package and I'm pretty sure it's my Harry Styles CD. I, if you guys don't know, I've been getting into CDs more. Honestly, I just love CDs now. They're everything. I have a CD player. I'm gonna show you my whole setup. I think this is definitely it. I've been waiting for this. Since the album came out, I love Harry's house so much. It's such a good album. Oh, I see it. Oh my god. It came with a little book. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. Look at it. Here's Harry's house. Here's its album. I've also heard a theory that you see how everything is upside down. Maybe you're supposed to listen to the album in reverse. Um, and I kind of want to do that, so I might listen to the album in reverse. It's so cute. Look at it. Okay, I'm going to open it for you guys. I'm so happy. If I can, like, open it. 
Good. I'm so excited. Okay, so it comes like this. This came off, so yeah. So this is how it looks. Very tough. It's a little. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look how cute he looks. Adorable. Very. And then it just comes with a bunch of different photos for the aesthetic of the album. I love it. This is like the perfect summer album. <laughs> this little mustache. Why do all men have this mustache at one point during the pandemic? Um, let me see. I'm gonna try to see my favorite photo. This is my favorite one. Look at how cute. <laughs> I love these. My favorite songs right now are Keep Driving, Satellite, and Matilda. And I also really like Daydreaming. I love the whole album. I think I got, there's like a booklet in this side, so there's more photos of him. You know, like CD booklets we love. And the lyrics, and then there's more photos of him in here. I love I love it. He looks so cute. So now I'll take the CD out, which I'm really excited about. It's like this beautiful, so I'll take it out like this. It's this beautiful blue color. Harry's house! Ah! Sleep. 
promise you that soon the autumn comes to steal away each dream you keep. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I wanted to show you guys quickly what I got from the Strand. I didn't buy any books. I know who the fuck am I, but I did like buy a book from Mercari yesterday. So I'm really not trying to buy books and it's a whole thing. I actually really do need to read books. So like I'm really trying not to buy books. So that's the thing. But I got these two stationary items. Um, I went back because Sophia and I, when we were together in New York, we went to the Strand and we bought these pens, but sadly I could not find the pen, but I found a couple other ones, so I'll show you guys those. So this is a little seahorse pen, I love it. Our gel pens, which I love, gel pens are my favorite, so this is just this light blue color pen and I love it. And I also got this little chick pen. Um, I love it so much. It's so cute. This one comes out though, so it's not attached to the top. But I do really love this. And that is my little haul. I love these items and I will be using them for my like bullet journal and my reading journal. Um, so that's what I will be doing. I'm currently drinking some tea because I got rained on. Um, really no books. Um, we also quickly went into Barnes & Noble, but it was raining so much we wanted to get home before it started thundering. But now we're home and there is absolutely no thunder. So I wanted to give you guys an update on Gekahi. I really didn't like film any montages while reading because I was so lost in this book once I got the chance to read it. I love Gekahi so much, honestly. It is an amazing book. Honestly, this is probably one of my most favorite books of 2022 so far. Um, and we're only in May, but I really love this book. I think the reason why I love it is because it's similar to The Song of Achilles in the sense that it is in a story and like folklore, and I love that type of stuff. And it follows Gekahi, who is villainized in the Ramana. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I think it's Ramana um epic uh which is like about um, like this queen exiling her son and watching her grow from young child to an adult and seeing her fight for women's rights in like a patriarchy and in a society where she was surrounded by men who constantly limited her but she still like loved them while also challenging them and trying to bring change and the ending of this book really did make me cry i <laughs> i knew i'm probably like summing it up what this book has done for me um i loved gekahi it's just character i relate to her so much the talks of family issues family drama the daddy issues the mommy issues the need for um the need for like parental approval while also having parents who are not the best people who are kind of selfish and like the daddy issues got me so good i really didn't get that many clips of me reading it so I, sadly um but i just got immersed in this i honestly read this book in two sections between two days of like really really reading this and every time i picked this book up i was immersed in it immediately which shocked me so much because usually for fantasies it takes me a long time to really get invested but with this by the time that we got to page 100 i was invested and from the start of this book i feel like it just started like really really strong and just started with such like a good beginning um and like a mystery and honestly where the book started and where the book ended is like not where i thought it was going to be but i think i'm starting to realize that i like fantasies that are more like yes magic is in the background and like it is a part of the plot but it focuses more on the characters and like the politics and like the setting and like the conflict rather than just like making a complicated magic system and like having to understand that on top of the politics and the setting and everything I think I like it better when it's like kind of a little bit in the background but like important if that makes sense incredible job the themes of the patriarchy and seeing her fight against the patriarchy seeing her complicated relationship with her family just seeing her overcome so much stuff like literally she had 
to come over so much stuff like an arranged marriage like being forced to leave her only home after like literally raising all of her brothers and then the aspect of like having to like be like respect your family and like you know care about their reputation while also just giving up everything the men in this book are absolute fucking trash i hate all of them except for lashmana who is her son and i love him the most he is my favorite he's the only one that is remotely a good man i love him this book was absolutely devastating because i feel like throughout the book she knew every time she was happy that it was not gonna last and i knew that it was not gonna last because it is a fantasy and it was absolutely devastating and i think that the author is just like i think i just love in general authors who are able to use easy non-complicated words but still have an effect a lot of people compare this to Cersei which makes me want to read Cersei because I just love powerful fucking women who don't take shit for men and I love that the whole story arc is her trying to get rights for women in the society try to give women more access to education access to work um, be able to be separate from their husbands and their families honestly Gekahi and I are too similar and I think that's why I just love her so much I see parts of my myself in her and just the way that the author and Gekihi understand me is kind of like unhinged I love it so much um, and I just highly recommend this if you're looking for a quick easy fantasy with an amazing female protagonist and who is villainized because people love villainizing powerful women I want to thank the author for writing this and giving us even more representation I love this book so much um, thank you guys so much for watching I'm so excited to make more vlogs for you guys if you guys enjoyed um, please subscribe and turn on your post notifications so we can come and grow this community here on YouTube. Um, and please, if you guys want to keep up with me when I'm not uploading, follow me on my Instagram. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!